Good morning. Still no rain. It's 5.30 and I'm ready to pack up and head out. My shoulders feel much better. I did take some Advil last night, but i am they're drastically improved. So I'm hoping that it stays that way and my pack is a little bit lighter now and we'll be all good. So we'll see you on the trail in a few minutes. Not much of a sunrise this morning. I don't know if you can see that guy, but that's an owl right there. There he is. We're gonna try and take it easy today. Still have like 18, 19 miles to do, but no waysides today, so not much by way of distractions, except for when it starts to rain, which hopefully won't be until this afternoon. It, it's, it's sprinkling right now, but it really doesn't mean much. The trail is really still quite nice. I just climbed up a little bit of a steep hill, but it still was really minor. I can totally see why so many people come out here and run this trail. It's very, very runnable. So I'm figuring that even if I take it easy today and go at a little bit slower pace, as long as I'm consistent, I should get my miles in today with no problem. And probably before five o'clock. We have a very late shower going now. It's really quite peaceful, feels good. I'm not even feeling a lot of it. The trail is still pretty dry. And I'm just thinking about how the birds are still singing and they're probably happy to get a little bath in. You can see them ruffling up their feathers with the raindrops. <laughs> this makes me happy. Hikers have been raving about this spring on Far Out. Let's check it out and see what's so great about it. It has a nice little cemented in area. Oh, it's running too. This beautiful flower. It looks like a trillium, but the leaves are completely different.
been a long time since I've hiked in fog like this. Um, but it's okay. I'll hike in fog any day. Still no substantial rain, just a few little on and off, very, very light showers. It's uh, approaching 1230 now. I'm going to be stopping for lunch soon. And now I'm only looking at a half a day's hiking in the rain. I don't know. The afternoon was supposed to be worse than the morning, so it's probably going to happen. But I don't think at this point it's going to be anything severely uh, frustrating or challenging on my part. It's only half a day. Tomorrow's going to be beautiful. Hey everyone! So I just had a great lunch here at this cabin in Shenandoah with Bob and Tim. They invited me in, told me to sit down, take a load off. And I've probably been here like an hour, almost an hour, at least 45 minutes. They were great company. Want to say hi to everybody? Hi, hi guys. <laughs> So I've just walked away from the Pocasin cabin. What a treat that was. I went down to get water and wasn't sure what direction it was. And I saw these two guys sitting in chairs, little lawn chairs in front of the cabin. So I walked up to them and just asked them where the water was. And they pointed to me where it was. And they said, if you want to take a load off for a little while, you can hang out here. And I was like, really? And they're like, yeah. And I said, okay, I'll do that. Do you mind if I sit at your picnic table? And they're like, no, definitely. So they came around and repositioned their chairs and we had a great little conversation. Um, it turns out that they are two lawyers from Baltimore, Maryland. And um, they were super friendly and super nice. And it was great company for lunch and I, it started to rain and we were underneath the uh, little like patio area. Um, it's just, it's moments like that that just really make the trail special. So Tim and Bob, thank you so much for the company today. So I just ran into a couple other hikers, Patrick and Chance. They both went to school for math. Um, I guess they were uh, schoolmates, and so they're out hiking the AT together, and um, we were just talking about backpacks and other things, and Machine from yesterday walked up, and everyone was asking everyone if they were going to the next wayside. Turns out there's one in 1.4 miles. It's like perfect Lewis Mountain wayside. So it is now raining a little bit more. Still not bad. Still haven't put my rain gear on. I'm going to try and see if I can get there without doing so. Um, but I only have six miles left for the afternoon and it's like 1.30 right now. So this is going to be really great. I didn't think I was going to be coming to any waysides today. But these guys pointed out to me that it was hidden under a camping icon. <laughs> so um, I'm so glad they pointed that out to me. Now I'm really, I'm super psyched. Lots of open campsites here. It's a Saturday, so that's kind of surprising. But I guess the weather has kept everybody away. So I'm back on trail after stopping at the Lewis Mountain Camp Store. And I just have to say that V8 and uh, ice cream sandwiches go really well together. Well, it's 3.30 and it finally happens. It's officially raining. What are you gonna do? I only have like an hour and a half to camp. So we're just gonna go with it. I can't imagine that I'm going to get that wet. Hopefully it won't be like pouring when I'm ready to set my tent up. That would be nice, but we'll see. It's all good. It's all going to work out fine. Rain shower is over. 
we're back to fog and drippy trees. And I kind of want the poncho to try and dry out if it can before I get to camp. So I'm still wearing it. I just have my sleeveless shirt on underneath. It's still warm. So that's okay. And uh, I'm nice and toasty inside this thing right now. Hopefully I don't get too hot because I'm about to start my final climb. Well, yes, that's pitter patter on my tent. Um, I fought carrying water tonight because my shoulders hurt so much yesterday and it probably really wouldn't have been that big of a deal. So I took a chance on a spring that was down a little side trail and it was super challenging collecting three quarters of one liter, which is enough for coffee and breakfast in the morning. Um, I knew that the water source was kind of iffy, so I did grab uh, some stuff at the camp store that I can eat for dinner tonight that won't require water or cooking. So I'm gonna be okay with that. Um, but I did spend a great deal of time trying to collect the water, and so I didn't get to camp until like 5.35, 5.40, somewhere around there. And then I went out onto the rocks for, to look at the view, which of course there wasn't any, but I was hoping I'd get cell service, which I did. And so I spent a little time texting. And when I got back to set up my, te my tent, I just got the last stake in and tightened, all the guy lines tightened, and it started to pour. So I got into the tent fine, I'm okay. Nothing really got super wet. Um, but yeah, uh, there's not gonna be, I usually like to take a nice little bath. I put some water in a Ziploc bag and I have a little um, cloth that I use and some Dr. Bronner soap. But tonight's just gonna be a wet wipes night and um, no, no dinner. <laughs> no, no hot dinner.